Hey y'all, it's Nicole, and today I am out in Green Meadows in Salina to check on the Stone Hollow build job that's behind me. So my client is building the Portico 2 plan. It is a four bedroom, three bath, three car garage home. Um, they have completed the framing and they're in the middle of the mechanical rough out. So I will explain what that is once I flip this around and we'll take a walk through. Okay guys, so I'm gonna have to walk around because we had a little bit of weather roll in. Um, so there's some water here. I'm not about to swim through that to get to the front. But as I'm walking around, I'm gonna point out that they have already got the rebar down and the form boards for the driveway. So that flat work, I don't know when they're planning to pour that, but it's gotta be pretty soon because they don't usually prep for that until um, they're ready to do it. All right, now framing, um, is completed for the most part. I don't see any brick tabs um, up yet, but that'll be the next thing. Those are little silver tabs they put on the exterior. Um, they are not ready to do that apparently. So the mechanical rough out is where they're doing the electrical and the plumbing inside. So I'm in the three car garage now. This is a full three car side-by-side -side garage. And you can see the plumbing they're working on, or they've done all the plumbing. Um, the electrical, I'm not seeing any electrical wires yet, so that still needs to be done. I know that the HVAC system is in the process of being delivered. They've got little pieces of it here so far. This is the laundry room. So you've got washer and dryer. And then you come in and you've got your kitchen and living. These are 10 foot ceilings in here. And then the front door is off to the right here. So I'm going to actually come this way <laughs> and turn around and we'll pretend like we came in through the front door so you have a better idea. All right, nice big door coming in. You have a two story entryway. That is going to be an, uh, actually there's an open railing. I'm trying to remember. I think that's, nope, that's a wall up there. Yeah, there's an open railing on the other side. Okay. Immediately off to the right, you have an office. Big picture window. Stairs are next. And that'll be an open railing there. And then this is uh, storage underneath the stairs and it actually goes around. Let me see. One thing I like about Stone Hollow is they're constantly um, improving their floor plans. So before, this would have stopped right here where that big beam is. Um, but they realized that there was wasted space back there that it could be used for more storage and so they decided to open it up good call guys all right so in the kitchen island you'll have your sink and dishwasher there this is where your um your stovetop and then your refrigerator so that's the water line for your fridge there's the gas line for your stove You'll have um, pantry, it's a little walk-in, and then counter space, and I believe your double oven, or your oven and microwave are gonna go on this wall. Okay, then you'll have this large eating area with a big picture window. Of course, the island is gonna come out a little bit, so you'll have seating underneath that as well, so more seating. And then you have a nice large living area so lots of natural light back here. Those are going to be fixed windows, guys. A lot of builders are doing this because it's aesthetically pleasing to just have large windows without any of those crossbars or um, operable windows here. It's just prettier, so. And then of course you have a fireplace in the middle or in the corner of the room over there. Back over here we have a powder bath. So again, all the plumbing is in. And then this is the master bedroom. Three more beautiful windows, lots of light, 10 foot ceilings again. And then the master bath. This is a big master bath. When you come in, you have a vanity here. And then the other vanity is right there in the corner. So this plan does have the option to do a shower and a tub, um, but they chose to do this is an inventory home so the builder chose to just do a big shower because they're seeing a lot of people that don't want a tub you have a dedicated water closet and then you have two closets 
So you have a little bit of a smaller one, but more of a square rectangle shape. And then you have a longer one on the other side. Lots and lots of closet space, so that's fantastic. And then this, this is just an open wall here, so it's kind of cool if you did have like a, a dresser or vanity or something you wanted to bring in, um, that is a vacant wall that you could put that on. All right, now we're gonna go upstairs where there are three bedrooms and two full baths. Whoops, that's a closet. <laughs> All right, stairs. All right, so one thing is there's supposed to be two windows here, but the framers messed up. Um, no big deal, they'll come back in and fix it when they do the frame punch, which is just fancy lingo for they're gonna come back and check their work and fix anything that hasn't been done. All right, so as we come up to the top, this is the railing that will look over the front. And then straight ahead, you have a bedroom. This kind of acts like a second master, you guys. It's a nice little entryway into the room. Big space. It has an ensuite bath. So you'll have your vanity straight ahead. And then it has a stand-up shower with a window. And the closet is in the bathroom. Big closet. And let's see if I can point it out to where you guys can see it straight across there you see where the window is and the boards that is just a ledge it's just an open ledge so you know you can put plants or whatever you want there but a thought I had was if you're handier if you ever wanted to in the future I realize the ceiling is a little bit lower but you could easily make like a doorway back in the corner and it, it attaches to this room that we just walked could be a little sitting space or play area for kids or something like that. Or you could keep it as the plant ledge. All right, over here we've got two bedrooms and a full bath. So this is going to be a double sink vanity. You can tell it's two sinks because, see these two blue pipes, those two blue pipes, two sinks. And Two very nicely sized bedrooms. Big picture windows. This is beautiful. Tall ceilings. This has a smaller closet than the other ones, but you know, it's still a good sized closet. And then this is just a hall uh, linen closet here. It'll be shelving inside. And then the other, the final of the secondary bedrooms. Big picture window, it's the exact same size as the bedroom next door. The difference is this one has a walk-in closet. Really good size. And finally, there's a game room up here. This is a really cool space, guys. You could easily frame this off and close it off and make it, if you wanted to, another bedroom or just a closed off game room. Really lovely size, really, really great. And then that doorway you're seeing right there is attic access. You'll have the HVAC system running through here. So you'll be able to go in there and change filters and whatnot. So that is awesome. All right, now, I think it's one of my favorite parts of this house is the patio. Stone Hollow is so generous with their patios. If you guys are in the new construction market, you will realize as you're looking and shopping for builders, most of them charge you extra to get a bigger patio. Not Stone Hollow, they just include it. They draw their plans so that their patios are massive. So making them any bigger is kind of unnecessary. But check this out. There is room out here for like, you can make two seating areas. You could put some large sectional sofas. This is awesome. There is, you know, of course, if you, there's not a gas line in here, but if you added one, you could put your grill or whatever over here, wherever you wanted to. But this is great backyard as well. That orange mesh fencing is the property line. So these are really good size lots. This is a 60 foot wide lot, guys. 
and the brick has been delivered so that was here last time that's been here for a little bit which is awesome because brick is on back order stone is here as well <laughs> Okay guys, that wraps up the tour this week. Not much has changed since the last time we walked this house, but that's okay because things are kind of delayed. I mean, if, you've, if you're if you aware of what's been going on in this market lately, you understand there's just, it's a lot of delays. But that's okay because we are moving in the right direction. Like I said, the HVAC is starting to be delivered. It will be installed soon. The brick is scheduled to go up pretty soon as well, and we will continue to move forward. So you know how to get a hold of me if you need anything. For those of you watching for the first time, I'm Nicole Roan. I work with Living Well Realty, and I would love to help you with your new construction home in Collin County. So give me a call, text, email, or you can schedule a Zoom appointment, and I would love to talk to you guys, so I can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, y'all take care, and God bless. Bye.